we go. Astrology reveals the truth unreservedly, but not everyone is willing to accept their fate. No matter. Running into difficulties is part of practicing the craft. I must also become stronger myself in order to convince people. I once met an adventurer on a mountain who also happened to be picking fruits. He was even kind enough to share some with me, so in return, I agreed to perform a divination for him. The results were terrifying. I advised him to give up adventuring as soon as possible, otherwise he could meet his end within the next two years. He fell silent for a while. Surprisingly, he didn't doubt the results of my divination like others had. But he looked quite perplexed. Even so, I have to keep going. Adventurers can't just give up in the face of hardship. With that, he picked up his pack and headed for the peak. However, 
try as I might, I could never forget that incident. Why is that? So, uh, Mona, is that adventurer dead now? <sighs> that was the only time I ever saw him, and that was more than three years ago, which means he's no longer alive. But isn't there still a chance that he's alive? You know, like... You can't call it divination if you reject anything bad and believe the good unreservedly. That's just self-deception. Of course, casually performing divination for fun might be a different matter, but in my field of expertise, there's no room for lies. To contradict my own reading would be a blasphemy against astrology. Cruel, but truthful. Such is fate. I don't usually say things like this, but while we're on the topic, I really hope you don't confuse astrology with those fortune stick peddlers that you see along the streets. Astrology does not exist to please. We astrologists are here to verify and witness the truths of this world. Ugh. Which is why astrology is a disdained profession. It is a mighty art, but unfortunately one that annoys people nonetheless. Why dost thou protest so much, Lady Magistus? Thou seems not to be the sort with whom one would be loath to be associated. What main Fräulein means is that she's glad to be friends with you. No, that's not exactly what I said. Whatever has gotten into you, Oz, you misinterpret my utterances with increasingly alarming frequency. Oh my, why could that be? Perhaps I have been concerned that Main Fräulein could offend her friends and have been attempting to soften her words. Although you're the only astrologist I know, you've left an awesome impression on me. You're not annoying at all. Those who go snooping around for secrets yet ignore whatever they don't want to hear, they're the ones who should reflect on themselves. Knowing your fate doesn't come cheap. If one could simply avoid fate with just a few words, no one would have to endure the pain of parting. Mona, don't take others' comments to heart. Follow your heart, and never forget what's right. Oh, I don't need comforting, thank you very much. I'm very tough, you know. Oh, uh... Well then, um... <sighs> Thank you. What dost thou say? Speak up and offer your highest reverence and blessings to the princessin. Okay, okay, your highness. Instead of making a scene, why don't you go collect the other fragments in the new location reflected by the pool? We can't enter the mirage without them. Main Fräulein, you are the only one with eyes sharp enough to locate the secrets. <sighs> If that's the case, very well. I shall proceed to the beach. Let's go, Mona. Oh, okay. Coming! 